with the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. are you into competitive eating? I'm not really into competitive eating, no. I don't really see the glory in it. It just seems like you're just eating a lot of f- food. I don't like it. It, it you, just you seems like it's that? setting you up for an eating disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already got plenty of that. I don't need more. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I know we're going to get into uh, one of the top tier eating guys, and he has said that he's experiencing some forms of eating disorders from it. So, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. um, it's very interesting because like problems with food are like probably very are very unique mm-hmm. because you have to eat to survive. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're a crackhead, you can stop smoking crack. If you're an alcoholic, you can just not drink. Yeah. If you're addicted to food, you can't just not eat. No, because food's like good and like you need. <laughs> I mean, it to you also live. need it to survive. That's the other part. Dang. Crack is good to crackheads. So, yeah. um. So anywho, uh. So I used to watch when I, like when I was younger the the Nathan's Fourth of July hot dog eating contest. Oh yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah, Kobayashi, and then Joey Chestnut came on the scene. Yes, baby. And uh, have you seen a picture of him lately? Uh, I have not seen a picture of Joey Chestnut, but he's like just like an average sized guy. He, he but he looks kind of hit lately. He looks Does like he's he? like the like the hot dogs had an effect on all them nitrates. <laughs> I mean, he is like twenty years older. Yeah, no, no, that's true. So, but basically, this man comes on. Everyone's like, "Oh, Kobayashi he was like the the <laughs> Asian dude." I don't remember where he was from. Mm-hmm. Um, just smoking everybody and eating. Joey Chestnut comes around. Just like a good old boy from the farmlands, Iowa. I don't know where he's from. Man just like blew Kobayashi out of the water. To the point where he, man wasn't even in the contest anymore. Yeah, yeah. And he's dominated this the, the hot dog eating contest for like years. I, I can't even remember the record. I don't know if you're looking it up. It was like no. 88 hot dogs or something like re- with buns. I mean, yeah, you can probably look. That he's up. got, he's got a, he's he's a champion when it comes to dropping the glizzies. Oh, man. he's throating glizzies like a pro. He's he's a glizzy throater. Yeah, he, yeah, he's 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 the, the throat goat. You uh, know what I mean? It was seventy six hot dogs in ten minutes. That's insane. So he's the throat goat of glizzies. Yeah, that's pretty. That's and impressive, uh, I guess. so he has had some controversy. I mean, look, some. Yeah, he is banned. <laughs> yeah, from this year's hot dog eating competition. He is. Yeah, you know why? I know why, but tell him, signed him. Tell him. a advertising deal with, I remember if it was fake meat or vegan hot dogs. Yeah, it was vegan hot dogs. And they were like, you're, you're, you're a stand for the competitor now because we're Nathan's and yeah. we are all beef hot dogs. I mean, they host the event. Like, and they you, use their hot dogs in the event. They use their hot dogs. They host the event. They're the reason that it is a thing. Yeah, but there's no other there's no other like hot dog eating contest. How many people gonna watch on Joey Chestnut eating? In? I mean, I don't know. It's the only one that there is. So is there a if, big is there a big fan base for hot dog eating contests, or people want to see Joey? No, Chestnut? but while there's not a big fan base, there's also not a big market. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I don't know what you're you're saying here. It's like if you like monster trucks, there's only one place to go for monster trucks. You know? No, there's two. There's Hot Wheels and there's Monster Jam. Thank you. <laughs> Either way, it's a small market, so I'm just saying, I don't know. No, so I mean, else okay, go. okay, I got so you. So if you really want to watch competitive eating, there's, you know, like, you got to go there. Or you I go am to curious. I've never done it, but I bet you can look on YouTube. You can, like, see. I want to watch somebody eat something wild, though. <laughs> like, like <laughs> how many, like. <laughs> what do you get off on that? Why are you? Why do you? What does that do for you? I what just you I'm curious because I just want to see something stupid that people should. I want to be like, how many chicken nuggets from McDonald's can you eat in ten minutes? I want to see somebody just like throat nugs. You want to do the? You want to do the fifty? The hundred nugget challenge? Uh, I, I tried gonna, to get somebody. I was going to say that. fifty nugs. This muff with the hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's who did crazy. I used, we used to joke about that when we were younger. That I was like, I'll buy the nuggets if you do the hundred nuggets because it used to be five bucks for twenty nuggets, twenty five dollars yeah. to watch a fool try to eat a hundred nuggets. Yeah. I would do that any day, bro. Now you're when looking, I was broke in my twenties, I'd pay twenty five yeah. bucks. Now you spend a hundred dollars on a hundred nuggets. <laughs> you're doing the five hundred nugget challenge. Bro. For $125. Yeah, bro, that's 
crazy. I just want to see you eat them until you die. Why do you see? I don't understand that. I don't. I'm joking. I Why really don't, do I don't, I don't get no? But seriously, I kind of feel like there's like a is there like a fetish thing with this? But isn't but isn't there people who like watch cam girls eat food? I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like a and what's fetish that thing. called? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the feederism. I, yeah, something. something I, think, I, don't I don't know. know. But like, I don't get it. But here's the wildest part. I think I read this, and I, I truth not facts, because I didn't get deep in because I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I think Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut are going to have a competition on Netflix. Oh. Like their own competition now that he's banned. But nobody cares, and everybody knows he's going to whoop Kobayashi's ass. I mean, he already did. I mean, yeah, he has. But still, I would, I would watch it. If, if it were, Netflix, if it was on Netflix, I would watch. If I, you already got a Netflix subscription, subscription, you're gonna watch that. It's probably. like, how long could it be? It's probably gonna be like thirty. Yeah, minutes. Yeah, last ten minutes. Like, yeah. Everyone's gonna skip the last ten minutes. Yeah, I ain't watch watching that. the prep, of the pre-show. Yeah, they the have heat. like the undercard fights. They got like <laughs> Susan Smith and Sally Jones eating Twinkies. You're but like, people love that reality shit. So honestly, they might tune in for a little bit of like the. Prep should part. I hold a competitive eating contest? Like, I'm not gonna like be in it, but should I hold one? I mean, you've talked about that. So and no, honestly, holding weird events is what I've talked yeah, about, I mean, but not I mean, like you've talked about. I mean, the same same vein. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I don't see a problem with it. I just see it's like, I don't understand why people want to watch that. It's, it's like not a, something I want to watch. It's like a sideshow thing. So uh, speaking of uh, Joey Chestnut, he says is that the eating disorder I was talking about, because I, I see you didn't hit on it. So I, was, uh, I don't know what it was. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to bring it up is that he says is that he's to a point in his life now where he doesn't experience hunger and that he actually has to be reminded by like um, alarm systems or not by alarms. Like it's been like six alarm. hours, eat something. Yeah, but he has to like set alarms and his wife has to like remind him to eat because he doesn't experience hunger. And he says that he attributes that to the years and years and years of competitive eating and the training that it took to get to that point. So his body is just so confused about what it needs because he's just like gorging on calories or like. Yeah, it's 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 weird. It's weird, but uh, it, it seems like it could be a legitimate problem for, you know, somebody who decides to endeavor in being a competitive eater, you know? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious. How many, how many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in 10 minutes? I could knock, I could knock a 50 nug challenge a out easy. 50 nug. What about chicken wings, like with the bone? With a bone? In 10 minutes. Why? You got to put the bone in there. Because it makes it harder. Then it becomes like a mechanical issue, dude. I got to like... like I, can, I can get the meat off the bone quicker? Like, yeah. So and see, and that's, that's the thing. With competitive eating, it comes down to your uh, your technique. Yeah. Soak the buns in the water. Exactly. Some of them do the bun first and then the glizzy. Like, you got to practice what is the fastest motion. It's not even like about can I stomach it. It's about like the motion versus the like jaw technique i don't know i don't know like i would practice if you're gonna tell me wing challenge where it's actual mechanics versus nugs where it's just like popping a freaking popping meat in my mouth uh -huh. that's easy like this is chewing dude what I if chew we had like a cheese time. eating challenge you can eat like a whole brick of cheddar I would, why would i do that because it's good what why are you just you know what i would do i would pain i would do a people. bacon eating contest that's disgusting you tell me you wouldn't like it because baking bacon is the most overrated food ever created. It's I mean, just, that's it's not even that I'm, good. I'm down for your opinion. It's not even that good. It's a condiment. It's not even that good. It's an everything, but it's like eh, it's subpar. I mean, you're saying it's D tier. I'm saying that bacon ain't as good as people say it is, man. I'm just saying it's like it's overrated. Does that's it come from a dirty animal. That's why. Like bacon is the hmm. It's the Jerry Seinfeld of foods. <laughs> Some people really like it, but others are like, yeah, this is the worst honestly, shit I've ever seen. Honestly, I love Seinfeld, but you know, after you've had it for a long time, it, it gets a little played out. Wow. You know, start I'm making throating, I'm throating glizzies. Start making some, some sentiments that, you know, cancel culture and you can't say All stuff All of a sudden anymore. they got racist bacon is what you're saying? Racist. I'm sorry, sir. The, the bacon is now racist. <laughs> It's like uh, the bacon does not want to be eaten by you. It's racist. <laughs> Milkshake duck bacon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't know, man. Like to each of their own. But I, I, ain't, I ain't going to a competitive eating event. You'll I'll, watch it if it was on. I watch it on TV. 
Oh. I, I mean, when I when it was when I was younger and had cable and it was on, like if it popped on, I would watch it. Like on Fourth of July, I'd be like, oh, it's on at noon. Let's go watch that. This is, yeah, that was before cell phones. Like, <laughs> look, I mean, you keep, ain't wrong. I used to play cards too. Let's keep it a buck, man. I, I, like competitive eating is like background stuff. That's like I'm doing something on my computer. He's gonna put a, a video of girls eating Oreos on the TV. How many Oreos can you eat in an hour? I mean, there there's definitely a market for that, Jonas. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's definitely a Somebody market probably for doing that. it on Twitch right now. Can, mm-hmm. Are you allowed to eat on Twitch? Uh, I don't know currently. The ruling on that has changed over the years. I think currently you are not supposed to like mukbang, though. Mukbang, that's what it was. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't mukbang on Twitch. Really? Like if you're just like eating like Cheetos or something, that's cool. But you can't like muck. You can't like gorge. Yeah. Like, you can sit there and, like, munch and snack and whatever, but you can't just be like, I'm going to eat four pizzas tonight and just, like, yeah. got you, got you. That is just crazy. That yeah. Nick Avocado crap. That sh- what the hell was that? Yeah, why don't you look him up, Jonas? I'm scared to. He's in, he eats. He eats. All right. He That's eats. all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. A TNT. Oh, yeah.